my name is Nekme Obasoge and today we have a special guest in the studio here uh, Lucy Ruth she's here to discuss about this cast of a person Lucy you are welcome to Nebo TV thank you Nekpen for having me it's always a pleasure working with you guys um, I thank you Nebo TV for having a passion and listening to my journey and uh, trusting and believing in my stories uh, yes I came because for a while I've just been thinking about the scars of a person and that so many people carry scars that are hidden and we don't see these scars so my message today is about the hidden scars so it's a message of love so that we love one another because as we are walking and as we're sitting next to each other be it in church be it at work somebody has a scar that is maybe healing or that is still that is still to fade so my message is let's love one another and let's look at one another and when we start thinking and caring about each other thinking that this person might have a scar how is this person living i started looking and reflecting at life in a much better way in a more positive way and I realized and I started talking to people even when I'm um, I also volunteer at the prison ministry I've seen that there's so many people around us that are carrying scars so my message is let's love one another let's be there for one another let's stop competing with one another let's take time to build our communities to be open to our children yes and uh, always listen to their voices yes and you find some people when they grow up and we, when they've tra troubled childhood and teenagehood is because they have a scar inside them they don't have anybody to talk to because the parents have made it so hard import you've already shut the door from an early age yes. so my message to you is don't shut the doors for your children because they will have hidden scars and once that scar is there it takes a long time for a scar to fade um, it's the same as healing really everybody heals in their own time so around us look around you and see that you will be surprised the moment you start talking to people that so and so has a hidden scar some of the scars are maybe I'm a married person you're a married person and you find that I don't get along with my with my mother-in-law I can't tell my husband that your mother uh, pisses me off I cannot tell my boyfriend that your mother is mean to me mm -hmm. because it's gonna backfire yes, exactly. exactly so that person is carrying a scar and that scar oh. lives with them because every time they're gonna see your mother mm -hmm. they're gonna say something about your mother because they are afraid to express their grievances you understand when you somebody you are scared of somebody you can't express yourself or express your pain in front of that person which means you carry that scars with you forever mm -hmm. you cannot live in a marriage that you do not like because society tells you mm. that you have to endure the marriage a marriage is, should be a place where there is love where there is support where there is compassion where of course there's going to be problems like minor problems but in an abusive situation you cannot tell somebody that's what a marriage is all about i am here to tell the people of african descent diaspora as a whole that no it's not okay for your spouse to hit you it's not okay for you to live in a troubled marriage because back home we were told that that's what marriage is all about no it's not you know why many women are living in abusive relationship mm -hmm. just because of the stigma they don't want to be stigmatized as a single mother yeah. so they believe that uh, the society will uh, will shame them for yeah. being a single mother they prefer to live in abusive relationship yeah. that is what is going on because people will call on you they will call you names they will stigmatize you because you are a single mother mm -hmm. we need to redo our culture let's redo this culture let's revisit culture because we have common sense and this culture does not make sense that of course we have to be submissive of course we have to respect one another but there has to be a difference between respect and abuse Exactly. yes so as women and as men and my brothers and my sisters I encourage you to 
let's let's change the way we've been working things and because also when you look at us as a wall we have a problem because we sometimes we are stuck in the same position in our situations because we don't know how to change mm -hmm. we don't know how to implement change you go to your aunt uh, in africa we all have aunties like the whole village can be your auntie and they tell you everybody has a word of advice and everybody has something to say it's about time we as families we come together and have our dinners Christmas time. Let's talk about relationship building. Let's do things that build our families instead of things that tear our families apart. We need to learn to rephrase and listen more. Let's listen to our children. And I've been saying the same message even to our Canadian society because there's so many kids nowadays. We have so many like kids who are on the streets doing drugs. And some of them the parents were so busy working trying to make a living that they did not have time to listen so if we change this part of culture and this part of society whereby if a child comes crying you're gonna tell them if you come here and if you come here crying i'm gonna smack you i'm gonna give you a reason to cry and listen and i have this i have a daughter she's always like crying and trying and i do understand sometimes she does whine a little bit but i'm I have learned to listen to her and tell her that, you know what, I know it's upset, but is it really, I know you're upset, but should you really be upset to this point? Let's talk about it. Why don't you ignore? Why don't you ignore your brother if he's irritating you? Do something. At least I'm listening and I'm offering her positive ways for her to feel better. So let's learn to build our children so that they don't grow up with the scars, the scar that they feel that their parents don't love them. What you just said now just remind me of one course I took in school. Was it not five years ago? Yeah. Children's studies. Yeah. Oh my God. We discussed about how parents don't listen to the voices of their children. So when we don't listen and they uh, they grow up with that scar that you did not listen, mm -hmm. it's very important that we listen. You know, some it happened a few years ago. I don't know whether you all know, there was a, a TV show where uh, Jada Pinkett Smith was on a show and her daughter came out and said she's been slicing herself. She never told her parents. Yes, she was hurting herself. So I, I'm not there to judge, but what I'm saying is, why didn't, what, what, was there something there that made her not go to her mom and told her that she was feeling like that? So we want our children, the message here is let's create and have relationships with our children yes. so that when they hit that teenage years and they're struggling because we now live in a world and a society that is terrible. That is terrible because we, we grew up being told to be strong. And we cannot tell our kids just be strong like the way we were told to be strong because it's a different world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever they face and whatever they're doing now is totally different from when times have changed. Mm -hmm. So let's listen to them so that they don't grow up with scars, walking with scars. Uh, yeah. And then they go out and they take their frustrations awesome. and maybe they start to they think they're going to find comfort in mm -hmm. drugs because nobody was there to listen because they're so scared to come to talk to you because if they come and they say, Mom, I committed a crime today, you're going to say to them, what are you going to say to them? They're so scared. They're scared. They just won't come and talk to you. They're just going to go and do it till the day that you realize and you're going to be so heartbroken. Mm -hmm.